Hey, everybody. Welcome to Test Chamber. I'm Kyle Hilliard. Elise is with us. Hey, how's it hey. going, Kyle? Ben Reeves is also with us. Why did you talk over yeah, Elise? Man, oh, dude. sorry. I thought you were introducing me. Come on, dude. Is your name Elise? Hey, how's it going? Maybe we had the same name. We didn't know it. Oh, weird. The uh, Look, we're not here to talk about that. No. We're here to talk about uh, Paper Mario Color Splash, uh, which Ben Reeves is reviewing. That's right. Um, and Elise and I are just fans of the series, I think. Right? Yep, yep. You like the series? I do. Uh, I reviewed Paper Jam, which isn't a Paper Mario game, but featured Paper Mario and some similar mechanics. And mm -hmm. I liked that game a lot. I thought it was one of the best Paper Mario, well, RPG, Mario RPG things in a while. Oh, gosh. I just got caught oh by my. a giant Goomba. So what's, uh, wait, wait, should I play this, Reeves? Is this a good time? What's going on here? I like it. You yeah? guys can't see the the menu system here on the controller, obviously, but... Uh, You're selecting cards, I'm right? selecting yeah. cards. So... I'll just quickly go through it. So you have a list of cards. Did you guys play uh, Sticker Star? Uh, a little bit. It's I knew it was like inventory-based combat, right? And uh -huh. that moves forward. Yeah. So are you pressing buttons? I'm to... pressing buttons. Okay, I'm good. trying to time button presses, and so that's kind of hard. So that is time. still there. Look at that. You're still pressing buttons. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So Sticker Star, you have this uh, turn-based fighting system mm -hmm. but you have a limited selection of in stickers are stickers in in this game it's cards and you basically choose from your limited inventory of cards and then you throw them at the enemy and that's your attack okay and i guess you're you're picking up a lot of like the same cards and stuff right like you'll you usually find a lot of hammers and that kind mm -hmm. of thing there's also like a timed mechanical system to it so if you time your attack at the right time you'll do more extra damage yeah which has always been you a, can time your a staple of mario right RPG. what kind of other cards have you, can you find uh so there's there's what did i show off yet? you got hammers, hammers hammers feet i showed the feet attacks there's a lot of variety to it too so i'll show you like two different uh versions of it so there's like I'm gonna do a spring one, and I'm gonna do a double boot jump. A these, double are both, boot? these are both jumps, but they're two different types of jumps. Okay. So that first one's a spring. So that means I can, if I time it well, I can do like ten different jumps on him. Holy cow! <laughs> oh my! And you're a pro. Look at him obviously. go. Obviously. Uh, and then the double boot means I get to. It's confusing. Oh well, so I killed him, so I didn't go through the whole thing. But double boot means I can attack two different sets of five okay. attacks. All right, so he, jumps. you're picking up the remain, the remnants of his soul, which is mm -hmm. these colored globules. So let's, I've already been through this that. level, so I'm gonna go uh, show you guys an alternate path that I didn't explore yet. Okay. So those globules that dudes drop are paint. Mm. And you collect those in the environment wow. as well. So dropping these like, and well, that what is, what do you call these, fruit? I think of some kind, so. paper fruits. Berries, large berries. <laughs> right. There we go. That sounds right. And is that like your right. health and your attack power? Uh, that represents. So up in the right hand screen there, you can see. Or my, your left, you know. Uh, well, yeah, it's right <laughs> if you're like uh, facing me. Yes, <laughs> okay, that that's very confusing. At all. I don't understand right and left <laughs> is what I'm getting at, Kyle. Okay, sorry to call you out. <clears throat> but yeah, that's uh, that's your paint reserve. Okay. And so we haven't seen a lot in this level because I've already been in here and painted everything. Mm -hmm. But in a lot of places, you'll see um, things haven't been painted and your goal is to repaint everything. And that's kind of like the goal of the whole game, right? Like you're trying to restore color? Right. Okay. How would you say it compares to Tearaway then? Mm, excellent question. Good guys. question. I'm trying to concentrate. <laughs> um, Don't be a political about well, this. Well, you weren't painting well, things in Tearaway, right? Uh, you no. You were recoloring things, though. Were you? It's been a while since I played Tearaway. It's actually like, there's a couple of games I've done. Like, uh, De Blob. Oops, you guys remember that, that yeah. game? Yeah. De Blob was cool. I mean, Splatoon, technically. Yeah. We'll go yeah. into a different level, and I'll show you guys maybe how Where it works. Where you can do some coloring and right. stuff. You have a lot of coins. Are you just at, like where are you just pretty far into the game? Is that so what's going on? That's maybe one of my criticisms of the game is you have a limited inventory of coins, but you can buy new coin you can buy new sorry, you have a limited inventory of cards, but you can buy new cards at the yeah. store with coins. More paint, more coins. Here I pick up from dude's dead body. Uh, <laughs> but just smash them into pulp and then I suck I up the found, remainder. I never had like a low inventory of coins, right? Like yeah. I kept collecting coins and I've already maxed out my coins. And I maxed out my coins like pretty early into the game. Like, uh, I don't know, 
maybe a fourth of the way into the game where it's already maxed out on coins. So I never really had to worry about that. Hmm. There's also, uh, if you run out of cards in mid-battle, you can spend 10 coins to do a battle spin and get a new card. Okay. That's what, like 10 coins isn't very much, right? I guess they just, is that just an economy system to make sure that you're never in a situation where you like don't have attacks? Because it, it bugs me, it bugged me in the last one too that like, that your attacks are based on like an inventory item, you know? It's, right. It seems right. weird. It seems to work for some people though. Um, like, was it a problem for you or? I never, I guess it never bugged me. I, I like the system. I I know some people like traditional uh, RPGists prefer, I, I don't know, a more straightforward RPG system. Mm -hmm. And I can totally understand, whoops, I screwed up the timing on that one. And I can understand that, but at the same time, I don't know, if you want your true RPG, you can go play the Mario and Luigi games. Yeah, those are a little Because those are more straightforward. RPG straightforward. Yeah. I'm going to finish this guy off with a giant Do it. card here. Mega Goomba. <laughs> Come on. And this and the and to clarify by the way, the point in the game that we're looking at, this is like like a what a hat like a, you said you fit you've beaten this level already, but it's like the halfway ish point or in the game. Maybe you'll see this place. Yeah, maybe not quite that far in. Okay. Okay, so that hammer I just picked up. Yeah. I'm filling up this hammer gauge, and that's how you like level up your amount oh. of paint you can hold. Interesting. Oh, okay. So I just Are you are you still able it. to like switch perspectives like um, cause I remember like in Super, Super Paper, Paper Mario. Mario. Oh, yeah, yeah, like you go like 2D, 3D, but here it kind of seems kind of no. 2.5D anyway. Yeah, that's so. not a thing in this game. Okay. This is all about painting the world is the new system. Mm. So here's a story stuff. Uh, I came across this coin earlier, this giant coin, and it was white. It was all, mm. the color was drained. And then I did something else in a different level and that changed this. So okay. uh, now I've come back through the level and we can see that, hey, it's been repainted, and now I'm rich. Wait a tick. We're rich. We're rich. Kyle, cool. you should do Toad's voice no, for not, Hugh Hunter. No, I think I'm good. No? <laughs> no. Where are you going? What's, what's going on? Oh, you found a thing. Oh, look at this. This game is real right. pretty. It is. It's gorgeous. Yeah, I really like the... I don't know. The style's really cool. Everything's all paper crafty, kind of like uh, Tearaway, like yeah, you mentioned earlier. Yeah, it really reminds me of Tearaway in that sense. Yeah, I can see that. Let's see if there's anything over here. I don't think so. Cool. So I'm collecting these stars, and sometimes there's more than one star in a level, and those basically open up paths in the world map, which we'll see here in a sec. Okay. So new paths. And oh. I should note, too, like this was giant world, so all the Goombas were giant, which oh, you probably okay. noticed already. They're not all like that. It's not like Better you're a mini be. Mario or anything. So yeah. Ah, spreading more color. World. So it's cool. It's like kind of a Super Mario World over map here. Uh huh. So oh, oh. So Peach has been kidnapped. Uh, which is kind of a new twist on the series. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, she's sort of leaving a paper trail uh, for Mario to follow. Like you're looking at her taxes and oh, stuff like that. There. That's right. <laughs> yeah. There's something fishy going Has on. Has she released her uh, tax returns? No. No, I'm, she's still, I'm I'm not still holding back until on she does. That makes her smart. Uh, so I can't get up there, but <laughs> but you can see... Oh, that's maybe not a good example. Uh, this is a mission I did already, and there were two stars, you can see. Cherry Lake, two stars. So that opened up two different paths. Okay. And 97% uh, of everything colored up. So there's still a few spots I haven't colored. Oh, neat. Uh, and then I'll just go to the new level that opened up. And we can explore it together. Mm. And the power of friendship will help us along. It looks Good. like a ghost level. That's cool. Dark this one's only one star. So that means there's only like one path? Right. There's okay. only one path forward. Cool. Good loading screen. Mm -hmm. Solid work there, Nintendo. So the basic premise of the game is like Peach and Toad come to Mario and they're like, Mario, you got to help us because this Toad has been drained of all his color. Kind of like this guy is right here. This is a toad. Huh. And uh, we want you to figure out what the mystery is. <laughs> so you just hammer him on the head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks for saving me, Mario. I got shot by a bunch of shaggers. I don't know why. I just broke down and crying. <laughs> that's, that's all you get. That's all we're getting? That's all you get. So goodbye. Mario goes to Prisma Island to find out what the deal is. And he finds out that a lot of things have been decolored. Mm -hmm. by shy guys with straws are wandering around the island draining everything of its color 
So he meets up with Huey, which is that paint can that you've probably seen me talking to. Mm -hmm. And uh, Huey gives you the power to use your hammer and repaint things. And he's British for some reason. Huey is? I don't know. He said, wait a tick. That just seems like a... Oh, sure. I don't know. (laughs) So are you still coming... Are you running into situations where you have to hunt down toads? That was a thing that was in Paper Jam. Um, where they would almost, they would go like you basically have to play hide and seek. Is that something that you've encountered in this game? Uh, no. Each level's fairly been fairly different. Oh, cool. So, uh, you know, in one level I was there was a coliseum level where I had to do a, a battle royale mm-hmm. kind of thing. By the way, this is a nice little Luigi's Mansion reference <laughs> right here. <clears throat> oh my gosh! I want a vacuum. <laughs> Paranormal activity. This is the first time I've oh, seen boy. ghosts too. Mm. Ooh. I like how Mario he's I'm like, not he's, doing so good. Yeah, yeah. My health so is twenty six out of a hundred. He's like, I like mm-hmm. how he kinda is flapping in the wind because he's weak. Yeah, yeah I like so that too. It's here's cool a spot that's been drained of color. Oh, you literally have to like fill it in. It's mm-hmm. not just like a go up to it and press A. So this thing back here. So you always get coins when you fill stuff in? Uh yeah, sometimes you'll get cards too. Mm. Uh we'll see if we can find anything else to recolor. Nope, that stuff's fine. So is there a reason that you're not taking like a health item or you just you just like to live life on the edge? Or? I live life on the edge, Kyle. That door needs to be colored. Ooh, look at that. And other things are full of paint too. Well, let's go over here. Are you low on paint right now or are you pretty full, I guess? I'm pretty good. So here's some health. Yeah. Oh, okay, health. you just found ah. it. Okay. Mm-hmm. You don't just have like items that you can use anytime? While you're uh, you do, and I did it in the battle. Uh, at one point, I used a mushroom that refilled my health. God, okay. You might have noticed. I did see that. That was a pro move. Mm-hmm. And you have items that can refill your paint as well. Is and it- you have, like, buddy items. And then uh, I'll get into a battle here, hopefully, and I'll show you uh, these thing cards, which were also... Oh, my gosh. Uh, that's terrifying. It's okay, moving on its own. Moving on its own. Uh, there's also these things cards, which are kind of like giant summons. Which are really weird and fun. I'll show you that. Is it fun to there. paint things? Yeah, I do like it. Uh, it adds a different system, or it's a different thing to pay attention to in the world. And there's always like some levels where I really want to paint everything, mm-hmm. and you finish, and it's like ninety-eight percent. Like, where's that missing spot? So it's almost like it's almost like a collectible to a certain degree, I guess. Right? That can't be good. What is mm. happening here? This is that creepy. Is. This is scary. Oh, oh my God. I revealed a ghost. So this is like you haven't encountered this and you're like ghosts and stuff like that. This is new for you? Yeah, not yet. Well, that's impressive that like you're this far in the game and you're still kind of seeing these like new things. Yeah, well, yes. that's what I was saying. It's like each, they do a pretty good job of like each level's got something different going on. There was one archaeology area where I was trying to dig up a skeleton mm. and then uh, got attacked by a giant... Um, ch- chain chomp. Um, that, wow. There was some where I was trying to like find these toads, kind of like you were talking earlier. Then they made this bridge, okay, for me to get across. So they do like the humor in this game is top notch. Like it's really funny. Uh, the the localization team mm-hmm. at Nintendo is just so you're saying it's top as, of their game. It's and, as funny as notches on Twitter. That's what you're saying. <laughs> Why you got to go there? <laughs> uh, it's a notch above, I would say, Kyle. Okay. Hey, you said top notch. Well, it's good. Uh, these games have always been uh, funny, so I, yeah. I'm glad that that remains true. Yeah. Let's see if I can get into a battle here, and I'll show you oh, some yeah. of those other cards. Do you have any of those thing cards? Do you think we'll get a chance to see that? Yeah, I want to show you a couple. Uh, you probably want to show you Security a thing card, but then I also have like buddy cards. Okay. So I'm going to show you one of those, and then I'll show you... Do you guys want to see a lemon, a cat... Cat. Or Cat. a plunger. Cat. Plunger. Oh. <laughs> Who won? Let's see. We'll Let's find see out. That. Oh, shoot. Uh, you also have Neither, to paint apparently. your cards, which I almost forgot to do. Oh, you have to And count. the more you right. paint each card, the more power they do. Oh. So, so you literally have I to like fully flick it them. onto the screen. Mm-hmm. So, and yeah. there's, can you can you play this game without touching the touch screen? So there's my buddy. Real quick, I'll show you. I used him. He came and attacked, and if I didn't kill these guys right away, he would actually sort of be a defense 
for me because oh, okay. they would wow. attack him instead. Uh, this is a what copy is of a thing here? card, <laughs> and so I just summoned this cat, and he's going to attack all these enemies and kill them. They're really powerful That's attacks that usually just wipe out everybody on screen. A really involved animation. <laughs> right. I love it. So why does it say replica? So I found a replica card for that one. Okay. It means you have just more than one? Which or? means you can, you can only hold one thing card at a time, one of each, but then you can find these replicas, which allow you to carry more than one. Oh, okay. That makes sense. And uh, like I was, I was asking earlier, can you play the game without touching the touch screen, or that's not an option? Like you have to select things with the touch screen and flick them onto the screen. Yeah, I don't know how you would do it without a touch screen. I don't think okay. you can, because you need to like paint your cards and then flick them on the screen. Okay. And paint. But you're a big fan of not playing with the. Uh, touch I controller. like. I don't. It's a weird thing. I don't mind touching the touch screen. I just want one or the other kind of. It's like nice I, to have the option, yeah. I don't really like switching back and forth a lot. Mm -hmm. um, but it, you were using your finger, um, so it, it's not like you're doing like detailed processes on the touch screen. You're just kind of selecting things and then sort of pushing them yeah. up towards the television, right? Right. There's uh, one other mechanic that uses the touch screen. Nice. Oh, so he Ooh, was weak like enough this. where I was able to kill him without... Actually, I'm going to do battle. I'm a huge sure. fan of that when they include that in games. Earthbound, the original Earthbound yeah, did that. I, right. I remember that, too. It's great because then you don't have to, like, waste your time over right. things that aren't even going to level you up enough. So, so what I was saying is there's one other mechanic that you actually use as a touchscreen that I don't know if we'll see, but you occasionally get to a place where there's the background and you have to, like, cut out a piece of the background and then walk across it. If hmm, that makes okay. sense. That's kind of an interesting sort of platforming mechanic. And in that case, the touch screen, you're just sort of, you're tracing lines, I guess, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay. So let's, uh, I don't know, let's see. I'll show you guys. <laughs> Mario's animation's so great, how he's just like looking at his cards and peeking at the bad guys. Yeah, the animations are really well done. Show you a Goomba. Here's a Goomba buddy I picked up earlier. And here's that plunger that at least demanded. And here's the plunger. Yes. So let's see what this guy does. Oh, a little bit weaker, but you know, he's my buddy and I appreciate him. Yeah. Right. Thanks, buddy. Sweet of you. And then here's the plunger. It's just going to wreck. <laughs> Sexy plunger. What? Oh my god, I night. love it. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it so. Why do I feel like I'm being romanced right now? <laughs> Oof. Is it hot in here? You guys I always feel that way about oh, plungers. I need a cigarette. <laughs> Learn something about Elise today. Mm -hmm. I like the, uh, I like, it, correct me if I'm wrong, but you can kind of tell the health of your opponents based on how much color they have. Yeah, exactly. That's really nice. I like that a lot. So yeah, that's kind of the look at the game. Uh, there's some mystery here in this, this place that we're going to solve. There's like kind of mini quests that you can do. Yeah, each level has its own kind of story and quest associated with it. And uh, I think the one other problem that I kind of have with the game is there's a lot of backtracking. So you Oof. might go do one level and then you have to like, in some cases, come back to it three or four times to go do other things. But you're still wandering through the first half of the level again to get to Is that because like new off things point. unlock as you progress? And then yeah, you new things back. unlock, like that coin earlier was painted. And so we were able to get forward. I um, see. Like you, you meet a guy and he's like, hey, go back to that dig site and I'll give you this card so you can get her further in that kind of stuff mm. Mm. Mm, that one's locked that thing is still moving on its own it's a, it's creepy that, scary time. oh maybe we can that paint it actually just, never stops oh I, wait because remember you found him he was painting painted you painted yeah that's him. true let's see if we can do that but uh, if you were a fan ah. of any of the Paper Mario games you're Especially if you're a fan of Sticker Star, you'll probably like this because this follows along the same kind of path as Sticker Star did. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, he's right. There's no 201! I gotta paint it? Well, I thought maybe that was the solution, but yeah. there's a bigger mystery afoot then. Interesting. Is that a, a Shining reference? 201? Am I just making that up? Isn't there like a room number in that? It is. I don't know if it's 201, though. Uh, Shining's not a thing, pal. 
I swear it's a film and a book. No, no I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> My review's out now as well. If you guys want to check that out, mm -hmm. um, Paper Mario. Especially if you own a Wii U and you're like looking for things to do. Like this is <laughs> this is a really solid game. So if you're just like you know looking for. Just something to entertain yourself with. Well, you know, <laughs> it's no secret that maybe Wii U owners are hungry for stuff. So yeah. mm. no, like, this is a really solid yeah. Nintendo release uh, this Christmas. This, this is probably nice. like the premiere this is like Nintendo the, release. The penultimate kind of before Zelda, the last big like Wii U game. And it's, right. it's, it's nice to see Paper Mario back on consoles too, which is exciting. Yeah, that's nice. the other thing. Yeah. I mean, it's been almost a decade, I realized. Because the last one came out in 2007. Is that the GameCube one? The Super, the Wii one. Oh, the Wii, okay, yeah, yeah, came yeah. Came out in 2007, and then it moved to handheld. Mm -hmm. And there's been a number of, like, it's confusing because there's, like, a number of, like, Mario and Luigi games, which is a very similar series. Like, they're they're linked together, obviously. They're, mm -hmm. they're kind of offshoots. Uh, but in terms of, like, legit Paper Mario games, Sticker Star was the last one, and that was on DS. Yeah. Right. So it's been... A while since we've seen a true Paper Mario game on console. Cool. Well, Reeves, thanks for showing off the game. Uh, it's going to be out in North America on October 7th, so it's not too far off. Yeah, a couple days. Yeah, yeah coming out. Cool. Check it out. Yeah, thanks you for watching. You won't be disappointed. Uh, yeah, and thanks for watching Test Chamber. Yep, thanks for joining. Perfect episode.